were down in the area near Strace by and we decided at the morning to go down to the beach and see if we can actually get a nice edible fish on the new Berkeley eyelash viper and we also had the new spiderwire style smooth eight with us so I wanted to repair that with my eyelash viper and just get a nice little feel for the setup the spider with a style smooth 8 is a new braid on the market and um, we've been fishing with it for a while now what i like about this braid is the fact that it's actually a very smooth braid it costs very very well and it's quite thin for its strength so it's a thin braid with, a, with a, quite a big breaking strain and then it's also a, a very affordable braid not that expensive so it really suits my pocket and it suits my fishing style the bait we're using to target cob it's a very simple little oki leg bait with some chocolate around it guys I'm not gonna bore you now to show you how to make this bait uh, in future I'll do this bait on a little bait demo so just look out for it and then you can see exactly how I build this bait um, very effective little bait and quite easy to make as well I right, say so guys when you're targeting cob there's quite a few different formations to look for but to try and keep it simple in general if you're fishing on a beach and you want to target a cob and you know it's an area where there's cob you would look for a nice working bank um, either a long bank that comes to a point where the water is white rolling water with some deeper water around it some current around it so the cob will often sit on that point and wait for bait fish like mullet to swim past and grab it or if you can find a nice isolated sand bank where there's white water working on that sand bank constantly with deep water around it put your bait on that sand bank and those are the type of areas that cob like to frequent and where they like to feed obviously if you're in an area where there's reef close to the reef they'll often hug the rocks and wait there to ambush their prey well i think we found a shell of cobia um just so much fun I can't keep on saying how much I'm enjoying this eyelash viper for this type of fishing. Honestly thought initially it's going to be a bit strong, but it's perfect. The balance of this rod is just so nice. I don't know if there's any feeling in fishing that's better than fighting a cop getting those distinct head knots where you know it's him and especially if you've got a bit of weight in fishing in paradise in the southern cape where there's a lot of it When you target species like cob, which have normally got a quite a big mouth, and if you're using a J-hook every now and then you can actually fall out or tear out, using a circle hook is a bit of an advantage. Um, the circle hook's advantage obviously is that it always ends up in the corner of the mouth. Um, doesn't hurt the fish as much, but when it's in the corner of the mouth, it's in, it's not going to fall out. And a species like a cob, who likes to shake its head from side to side while you're fighting it, so you're getting slack line and pulling and slack line and pulling, and often throw the hook. So fishing for them with a circle hook is a big advantage. Alright, so we're going to put a quick tag in it and then get it back in the water. After landing the fish, Dion was there with his tagging kit. Um, we all support tagging fish because of all the research that, that follows from that and all the knowledge that gets gained from tagging fish. So what Dion basically do, the fish was lying on its side, he had his little tag applicator with the tag pushed into it and he just takes the tip of it, removes one scale, where he removes the scale he injects the applicator or puts the applicator just under the skin, pulls the applicator out and the tag remains in the fish. So on that tag you put a tag number. 
So you would record that number on the little piece of paper that goes with the tag kit, um, measure the fish, you'll, on that tag um, information sheet, you write the, the size of the fish, the tag number obviously, date it's been caught and where it was caught. So all of this information they get sent to Ori, that's where the research gets done, they keep it on file, and then when that fish gets recaught again, they've got all that information and they can compare the information from when it was tagged to when it was recaptured again. So it's a lot of good information that comes from that. And people like Dion, they do all the hard work to fish, really, really assist the scientists in all the information they gain from fish. So we had a nice little session targeting cob and um, catching cobs was exciting and something I really enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something from our video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and look out for some nice videos coming your way in future.